Voters in Malawi head to the polls on May 21st. Political observers are predicting a tight battle for the presidency between incumbent Peter Mutarika and several top opposition candidates. My colleague Paul Rondiho examines the race. Campaigning in Malawi's upcoming election is entering its final stages as voters prepare to elect a president, members of parliament and local councillors. President Peter Motarika of the Democratic Progressive Party has told thousands of his supporters that he will continue to act on his election premises, convincing his backers that he will emerge from this poll, the winner in a landslide. But allegations of corruption continue to hover over his campaign. The government denies the accusations and Mutarika's supporters appear to be unmoved by the corruption claims. I just want him to continue from where he has started because he has been building a lot of constructions in terms of um, encouraging people in terms of education, in terms of some of the people with careers. Yeah, so I'm expecting much from him. Uh, we are somehow ready. We have seen those people campaigning and we are ready to vote this coming elections. One of President Mutarika's top rivals in this election is Lazarus Chakwera of the Malawi Congress Party. Chakwela claims Mutharika is a failing Malawian citizens. More than 50% of the country's 18 million people are living below the poverty line. Unemployment is rampant, life expectancy is low, and the infant mortality rate is high. An estimated 1 million Malawians are living with HIV and over 770,000 children are orphaned, many due to AIDS. According to the U.S. Agency for International Development, or USAID. I can't go again to vote for DPP, but for now, I'm going to vote for Lazarus Chagwira because his manifesto is for good for me. So if make is serious to produce good results that people who indeed vote for this year, we expect to see a change. Vice President Saula Sachilema is hoping to win power as head of a new opposition party, the United Transformation Movement. Political analysts say Chilema is seen as the biggest threat to both Mutharika and Chakwera. Chilema has a large following of young people who want change from the current administration. All Malawians, three quarters of them, they want change. 60% of the people who are going to vote are the youths. Now, most of the youths want Dr. Chilema. Therefore, this, creates, this shows that Dr. Chirima will be the, our, first pres, our, our, our president on 29 May 2019. Many Malawians remain undecided for whom to vote as president. Zainabu Mangani is one of them. I can't say I'm ready because I don't even know which president to vote for because these presidents are all the same. If I give the vote to this person, I don't know if this world will change. Malawi will remain the same. Because they are a bunch of ish. Which, what can I say? They are all the same. What they know is to feed their stomach. They don't even, they are not concerned of our lives. And they don't even, they are not concerned of our welfare. Voter turnout may be the key to winning the presidential poll. And the real impact of this election will only be known once the ballots are counted. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.